video is so powerful. Um, it's really, when I saw it, well, we saw it together actually. I started watching it and she was next to me and she's like, I looked over and she was tearing up. I'm like, I'm like, it's real. Like, wow. Yeah. I'm like, we have to reach out. We have to do it. <laughs> like, like, like that's, that's some real stuff right there. These are people we need to have a conversation. Yeah. Right. So we appreciate um, it for sure. How'd that come about? What was, was that? Yeah. So we, when I say we, I mean the Baltimore Ravens wanted to put out a video um, because we had had a team meeting and coach had opened up the floor for the players to talk. And uh, just so you know, that doesn't usually happen uh, in the NFL. It's, it's usually his meeting, and he, you know, does whatever he wants with it. And, um, because of everything that was going on in America, he wanted to open the floor and he wanted to open it up to, you know, obviously the African-American players to kind of voice their grievances a little bit. And um, he called on a couple guys to, to start off the meeting and I happened to be one of those guys. Um, and, and really my call to, my call to action from my teammates was for my white teammates to speak up um, for the minority. Um, I think that's important. And I said it in that video that it's not people who look like me that are gonna drive the change. It's, it's the majority and in America, the majority is white, overwhelmingly. You know, so I kind of needed them to know that it, this isn't a moment for them to just let it by, go by and not say anything. You know, I feel like a lot of people are pressured right now to say something because if they don't, they feel like um, right. they're kind of being, their silence is, is saying it's okay. And I understand that, but we don't need people to just speak up so that they don't get crucified we need you to speak up because you actually uh care right. and i know for me if i take on if i go on that field and, and every every guy that's with me isn't all in on everything not just football but humanity if you know my family their family then that bond isn't there and that's a special thing we have in baltimore uh to where after that meeting and even in that meeting we had a lot of guys speak up um and then you know, make commitments to continue to speak up and, and fight on behalf of the mi the minorities. So that's where the video came from. Uh, so after that meeting, Ravens approached me, uh, Coach Harbaugh, and the owner, and a couple other players to kind of just sit down. And they said, we don't want to give you a script. We want it to just be genuine. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go for 20 minutes, an hour, two hours, uh, or it can be five minutes long. Just whatever is on your heart kind of portray that however you need to mm -hmm. and um so i thought for sure they were going to give us a script you know like that seems to be the, that seems to be the the general go-to right now for organizations that have a script everyone reads the same script they kind of piece it together right but they didn't do that so i'm like i'm talking to my wife i said i don't know like that's dangerous you know if i just go into a, a zoom recording and i and they say just tell us what's on your heart so that's that's a dangerous thing you know? <laughs> it can, <laughs> That can go a bunch of different directions. So we kind of just sat down, talked about what I wanted to portray in the video uh, and what I wanted to, to speak on. And, and ultimately, that's what we came up with to kind of just steer me in the right direction so that I, I could speak from the heart, but actually know what I wanted to say. And it wasn't uh, super random. So we we get on the call with the, the Ravens and, and they turn on the recording and I, and I go. And because we had kind of prepared beforehand to kind of figure out what I knew I wanted to get to, um, I was able to do it in one take. Man, it was. And, uh, like that. Yeah. We just asked them. We asked them to, because they took up pieces of my, my speech and put it in the big video. Mm -hmm. And I just asked them, I said, okay, what are you planning to do with all the other guys uh, videos that they did because some guys went for like 20 30 minutes um, but it was more uh, unplanned should I say you know it was more off the cuff and I didn't want to do that because I've had a lot of experiences in my life and I, I just knew like yep. they're gonna be on here for like five hours so they're gonna be like can you stop <laughs> um, so I asked them to just uh, give me my whole video um, unedited and they, they did that for me. I think they put some music on it at the very end. And um, I asked them if I could post it. They said, go for it. And, uh, <laughs> just wanted to get that message out there. It's really been the most 
well thought message I've I've heard, read, anything. Right.